Investigators will soon give an update on the deadly Baton Rouge ambush. Authorities want to know where the shooter brought his guns that he used to kill three Baton Rouge police officers. Three other cops were injured. We know that the gunman has been identified as former Marine Gavin Long of Kansas City, Missouri. Officers eventually killed him in a shootout. David Begno is in Baton Rouge. David, what's the latest and how is the community reacting after yet another tragedy? Let's start with the investigative details. We're told that the weapon used by the gunman was a 223 caliber weapon. It was an assault type rifle, and we are told that we will get either a photo of that gun or one similar to it at a press conference, which is set to start at Louisiana State Police Headquarters within the next hour and a half. Now, we also confirmed some new information. Um, if, if, if you can come back to me so I can, I can explain exactly the type of device that we were told about. The state police colonel, told me that the gunman used a type of sling and the way he described it was that there were straps that attached to the gunman's waist and straps that attached to his shoulders and what happened is according to the video the surveillance video that they watched you saw the gunman turn he would raise his weapon and because of that sling he was he was wearing the gun was raised with such focus and such precision that he looked like he was in military combat. Now that's coming from the state police colonel who watched the video himself. He said it was chilling to watch a man who appeared to be gifted and tactical as he moved through the, the, the perimeter here. Now remember, there are three different buildings. You have the car wash behind me, there's the Be Quick store, and then there's a beauty supply store in the distance. The gunmen were told went along one side of the building at one point, dressed in all black, carrying his weapon, and he slid along the building, as it was described to me, looked around a corner, paused, no. then stepped out in the wide open and fired raised his weapon as he fired at the officers. We're told this shootout between Baton Rouge police and the gunman lasted at least eight minutes okay. before a SWAT team moved in, Rena, and took him down. David Begno, thank you very much.